Hi, I'm Linda, and this is No Frills ASMR. So, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I did a video putting these old, amazing Spider-Man comic books into these sleeves, plastic sleeves to protect them, and somebody did ask for me to take one out and flip through it, so I will do that. That's upcoming. But today, I found um, a stack of The Walking Dead. I don't know if you call these comic books or graphic novels, but these are um, newer. I used to love The Walking Dead in the first, you know, I don't know, probably four seasons or five seasons or and um and then I just fell off. I don't know. But during that time my son wanted to read the um I think they're graphic novels, I think that's what they call them. And he had the compendium, which has a whole bunch of them in there. But I couldn't find that. But then we started buying them as they came out new. So for Christmas one year, I gave him like a, you know, a note that said, I will buy you each one as they come out all through the year. So we would, on the day they come out, go over to the comic book store and get it. It was all very exciting. But anyway, so I thought maybe today I would, I have this um, board and I ordered it to package one comic but they send you 100 boards. So I may as well go ahead and put these in a board with them. Um, I also have these plastic sleeves. They're just called regular comic bags. So I thought maybe I'll um, go ahead and put those. Let me set these Spider-Man out of the way here. We can just do that. And we can take a look and see what we have and maybe put them in order. So the first one we have here is The Whisper War Part 2 of 6. Well, should we go ahead and put them in? See, they're kind of neat because they're very, like, gory. <laughs> and so I remember at first thinking maybe my son was too young because my kids were not like when they were young they would have commercials for horror movies like during football and i'd have to tell them to cover their eyes because the commercials were so scary and they'd have nightmares and couldn't fall asleep so i thought this show would be too scary and this book would be too scary but we ended up watching walking dead together and it was a lot of fun <laughs> But see, it is kind of gory. Like they show his intestines coming out. <laughs> He's getting killed. So The Walking Dead is a story about zombies. And they're The Walking Dead, of course. And the first season, the zombies are the enemy. And it's scary because, you know, their eyes coming. But pretty soon, the show, they get so good at dealing with zombies that it kind of isn't about the zombies anymore. It's about the other people. <laughs> um, like here's a bunch of zombies. But I remember the one year, if you guys, this could be a, a little tiny bit of a spoiler, so you could skip 30 seconds. <laughs> but there was an episode where the season finale was Negan. Some of you may remember. So before the new season started, I made a um, meatloaf that looked like a foot with ketchup for blood all over it. <laughs> and we had bloody foot meatloaf for dinner the day of the new. <laughs> this is an advertisement for something else. Anyway, okay. So we will put it, I think in the last one, somebody said make sure you have the shiny side up. And then they gave me advice, but now I can't remember. <laughs> oh, they said first put the, put the board in and then 
and put this on there. Oh yeah, smart. Oh, but I want it the other way. I just remembered. All right, because I like the not have the um, sticky uh, the flap. I don't like the flap covering my view. We'll have to organize them. They don't, do they give you a date? They don't really, do they? Hmm. Oh, they're numbered 158, 154. Okay. All right. So this, I believe, is Marshawn. I haven't watched it in so long. And that's, um, what was his name? The guy who rode the motorcycle. There were a lot of good characters in the beginning. There was like, there was a girl named Beth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I never read these. I probably should. The Whisperer War, part one of six. Okay, so this is part two, so we can put these in order. The Whisperer War. Did they tell you a date of these on here? I don't think so. My guess would be it was probably, what, 20... Oh, look. This ad says 2016. Yeah. 2016. This was right about when, you know, my, I think we stopped watching about this time. Maybe. All right. I have no idea if like are the kind of thing that would ever become collectible but I kind of doubt it but I can put them in here and if my son doesn't want them I have a um, a local group where we kind of like give stuff away and I'm sure there's kids who would probably think this is cool this with this. So this is one and two. Okay. What is this one? 156. Queen and King. The Walking Dead. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> he looks like he's going to kiss the zombie. Uh-oh. Oh, she's faking it, isn't she? Because look, you can see her skin. So is she just pretending to be a zombie? What's happening? Now I may have to read it. <laughs> what? Look, do not move or make a sound. They will come near, but they will pass. I think I do remember there was an episode. Okay, another quick spoiler, but Michonne, I think that was her name, in the beginning she would like keep zombies on leashes or something in that right so that the zombies wouldn't smell her or something i can't really remember i just have this vague remembrance of that what anyway okay yeah there's swear words and stuff in here so if you have kids that it's up to you. <laughs> I really didn't worry too much about that kind of thing as far as reading goes. <laughs> they weren't allowed to say it. But <laughs> okay. We'll put them all in order at the end.
this one's thick. Tip of the spear. So they're all in the woods with machine guns. From the creator of The Walking Dead, Outcast. I don't think I've ever heard of that. See, it's kind of cool because they have lots of really good drawings. I like it. I think it's neat. And if you're not really that much of a reader, you can just look at the pictures. <laughs> I think we could get through one of these. And yeah, let me know if you want to read one of these. They might be too new. That like, I think YouTube has like copyright issues with stuff. I don't know. All right, let's see. That was a smart tip. That person said, put the cardboard in first and then do it. Very good tip. Thank you. Okay. What's next? What's next? I don't know how many there are here. 161. Oh, this is part five. trying to read one of these might be tough because it's mostly like sound effects. <laughs> I'm gonna put this up here. No, it won't fit. Is that what you call it? He might have it because he's kind of a guy who, I don't want to say he's not a collector, but he collects some stuff, but he is really good about like organizing and um, displaying his collections. They're not just like in a box. <laughs> I went over to his new house and he has like all these, he's a um, film guy and he has all these old cameras and like lights for cameras and then film and it's all displayed like really cool it's like it's like a museum <laughs> let's see this is 160 the whisper oh part four okay so we'll put that with the whisper or so i guess that was just a whole separate Also, the Whisper War Part 3 of 6. The Whisper War, they all have like the dark guy and then the other. So, I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of in the TV show. Maybe this was after I quit watching. Dwight. That wasn't the name of anybody, was it? Dwight. Doesn't sound right. Oh, that zombie poked himself in the head. <laughs> Dumb zombie. Oh my gosh, now that I'm reading some of this, like, yeah, this is inappropriate. <laughs> oh well, he made it through okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the name of a... I feel like it's, yeah, it's this guy. I can't think of his name. <laughs> That's 
It's so funny because he was like mine and everybody else's favorite character. And I can't remember. Anyway. And the comments remind me what his name is. It's not Dwight. That's from The Office. Can you imagine if Dwight from The Office was having to fight zombies? He'd probably do good, actually. <laughs> be like good at it. <laughs> okay, this is Whisper War. We have a lot of Whisper War. Um, Heavy Hangs the Head. Now I'm pretty sure there was an episode of a TV show called Heavy Hangs the Head. That sounds familiar. Whoa, what's in the back here? Like a question and answer. Yeah. The Walking Dead Civil War. P protect the future. Change the future. No oh boy. Uh oh. That may have been a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, The Walking Dead was so good. Maybe I should go back and start watching it. <laughs> I feel like there was a season where where a um, tiger showed up, <laughs> and I was like, mm. but I don't know. I maybe watched even beyond that. I never got to like. I saw some pictures online that made it look like. Negan's everybody's buddy now. I never got to that point. And look, this is the Whisper War. So the Whispers must have been a group of people. Huh? So this probably comes before the war happens. Eh? Yep, I must. I wonder if like old cartoons, they use the same picture. Because I feel like I saw this picture like this of her and one of these other ones. So I wonder if sometimes they just use the same image <laughs> instead of having to draw. I guess now they could use like AI to draw all this. <laughs> that would be sad. I'm getting up with AI because you know I still have Facebook and Facebook's gotten really bad where you don't see like my mom posted something I didn't see it for two days <laughs> instead I'm seeing all this other stuff that I don't even know but almost every picture is AI they just like too perfect and too clean and you can just tell and they're all like showing this beautiful kitchen and it's AI. It's like, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Call to arms. Oh my. His face is missing. There they are. I guess that must be Rick. No, he's... Wait, did Rick lose an arm? I forget. <laughs> I think some things are different in the... You know... The, um... Comic book. Okay. Yeah, I think something 
things are different. Because I remember, oops, sometimes my sons would be, you know, they think they know something was coming and they'd change it up in the TV show. <laughs> I'd be like, wow. But they all liked the graphic novels better than the show, I think. Okay, what's this one? Ooh, The Walking Dead, it looks like it says 150. And I guess that's Ray. Fifty. Does that mean it's the hundred and fiftieth comic? Oh yeah, I remember they lived on a like a farm for a while in the TV show. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Must be Rick's son, because I think I remember the boys telling he lost an eye. Spoiler. <laughs> I should have looked up everybody's character name before I started, so that I not driving people crazy. is if you decide you want to go back and read them, you can just open them right up. It just kind of protects them. Okay, Ooh, this one looks... This is that queen <laughs> who's wearing a, a dead person. <laughs> a zombie. Oh boy, what is it called? No turning back. and wearing a zombie. That would be gross. <laughs> okay, what's this one? I like that. That's kind of pretty. The fall leaves coming down. It says, out in the open. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> That's when you have to really watch out for the zombies.
breaking point reached. Well, this is somebody beating up Rick, I think. Uh -oh. I wonder what happened there. I may have to read these. <laughs> I'm getting more interested. Oh, look. That's a cool looking picture. Look at that. It's like the wind and the leaves are blowing. And outside the church. Oh, and there's a preacher. And they look like they're kind of praying, but it looks spooky too. Was it a funeral? Maybe it's a funeral. I don't know. Oh my goodness. So that's sword. That's Michonne, I think. I don't know. She was probably. This is 145. That's an old one. And 146. Oh, these ones are in order. 147. 148. I thought they were out of order. 149. Maybe these were all in order, huh? 150. And it says 150. United in fear. I guess these are the people who illustrated them or wrote them. I don't know. Um, 153 heavy hangs the head. We're missing 154. Oh, here's 154. 154 led to slaughter. 55, the walking, oh, tip of the spear. And 156, queen and king. And then separately, we have these ones. So let's see. We have part one of the Whisper War. Does it have a name? It's just called the Whisper War Part 1. <laughs> okay, and then Part 2. And where's Part 3? Part 3. Here's Part 3. are numbered, so wait a minute. Oh yeah, look, so this was 
156. So this is 157, 158. 